Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Today we're heading into Mosquito Marsh a few days ago. <laughs> I, like I said last episode, I like the relative time to that. We'll be heading, heading into the level off B. As you can see, the inverted versions are unlocked as of last episode. I have to beat the normal level to get to this one. I'm not going to be doing that now. We'll be doing that once we beat the main game, I think. But for right now, we'll play the normal version. We'll also have the uh, tape to unlock here as well. But this looks super cool. This, uh, I, don't, I don't, it's just like a city, I guess. Yeah, really, really cool looking from the loading screen, so let's hope it's just as cool when we're in the level. And I think one of the buildings in the map section said Dingo's, like, uh, saloon or something. We'll have to see what it said. But, uh, yeah, I'm guessing that means that maybe Dingo Dial will be in this world. That'd be really awesome. Oh, here we are. Oh, I love it. Looks super cool. Oh, yeah, and we're also using a crash skin. Um, I think this one's called the paper cut skin we unlocked it last episode. Oh, there's crocodiles in the water and everything. We have 215 different crates to find. Now, this is like an atmosphere I would never expect to experience in a crash game. This is way different than we've seen in basically any of the other crash games. It's so cool. So you can see we're climbing up to the side of this building. This looks like something more you would see out of like maybe like Sly Cooper or something. That's so cool. All right, just trying to look around as much as I can. Who's that a picture of on the left? I don't know if I know that character, but I know this is a, definitely a picture of like Dingo Dial there. Yeah, I wonder if like Ripperoo or, you know, Papu Papu are in this game. Either way, we're just gonna do our best to climb this. There we go. Trying to keep my eye out, oh no, for secrets as well. Can I land like, oh, okay, I can't land on that little edge. All the way back down to the bottom for me. It's okay if I make a couple mistakes. It's just, I'm trying to figure some things out, look around for hidden secrets. Oh, there we go. Looks like there's one up here. There's a quick Wumpa Crate box. Whoa, there's a giant spiral float back there. See, it's sort of like, what is it called, Mardi Gras? Oh, I like it. Oh, and that must be, yeah, that's Purr in a CTR cart. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, we got some music playing ghosts. Ghosts are not normally what I expect out of Crash Games, but I like that, you know, that, the uniqueness of it. Oh boy, here we go. This is such an interesting level type. I love it. There we go. Try my best not to mix or miss anything. These are some weird looking blocks. Oh, they spit out confetti. Weird. This is such a bizarre level. Okay, let's get over here. And doesn't look like there's anything that way. Hmm. Oh no, oh. Oh no, oh no, oh, gotta go quick. The timing there is tough, but somehow I got it. Wow, thank you. Oh, and there's our uh, our mixtape, or our flashback tape, there we go, very cool. Oh, I see, oh, God, we gotta be careful there. Don't wanna hit the nitro. Dude, we've made it so far so good. Got some ghost jugglers. I can't get over how different this is. It's awesome. This is really what I was ex hoping for, you know, in a new Crash game. It's just like different locations you'd never thought to go to as Crash. Am I supposed to hop into you? Okay. Uh, off we go. Well, can we go inside of here? Not quite. Huh. Let's go over here. But it's very music themed, which is nice. There we go. Whoa, it's a Jester Crash uh, float. It's just like a whole parade, a whole celebration. I love that. Well, off we go. These ghosts are all over the place. Oh, is that supposed to be, that's fake Crash actually. You can see by the big teeth. All right, one, two, three. Oh no. Oh, so I, I didn't really factor in the jumping time there, but that was our first set. No, no big deal. We can still die two more times. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Oh, that guy's sort of creepy. <laughs> that little jack in the box. I don't think we'll be able to defeat them by jumping on them. So I'm trying to be careful with that. Oh my. Oh. Can I? No, you can't. Weird. There, there's been a lot of that in this game specifically. In older Crash games, there really aren't too many enemies that you can't at least like jump on to take out. Okay, so I do have to be careful. We can only die one more time. 
without losing our potential for a gem. But as long as we wait in between these things, we should be fine. Go for it. Awesome. Oh no, definitely can't jump on him now. Whoa. Oh, so we can play the piano. Oh, definitely get the Aku Aku. <laughs> I like it, that's cool. All right. Oh no. Ready, Oh. Gotta watch out for that. Why would there even be a Nitro down there? That seems like a weird spot for it. Oh, bouncy drums. Once again, I don't think I can jump on them. Oh my gosh. Thought I just fell to my doom. Oh, that was close too. I don't know. Yeah, that wasn't quite the way I was supposed to do it, but if it works. Wait, ah, oh, darn. Okay, I can still get it. That was a little silly of me. But we're fine. Huh. So what's going on with this one? Ooh. Honestly, that could have been pretty bad. Oh no, oh no. Timing is key. Ooh, we get the bonus room here. Oh, and we get the, I always forget his name. But we get that mask as well, so we can switch things around a lot. Sounds like fun. Hmm. All right. Nope, nope, wait, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I actually got it mixed up anyways. That wasn't one of the ones you can switch into. We'll just hop in again. Of course, we can die as many times as we want in a bonus level, but we're at 100 crates exactly, so hopefully we've done everything right so far. Because there's only three levels in this world, but I have a feeling like it's gonna be more than just that. Of course, we usually unlock a couple along the way. Why did I think that was gonna work? There we go. Two, three, four, five. Okay, okay, that could have been better. Could have been worse. I might have to backtrack, so that maybe isn't the best idea. But we're gonna try it. And then I also wanna activate this one. No, ah, oh, that was clumsy of me. All right, it's fine. Let's try again. There we go. All right, I've been struggling to make that jump work, but I got it. So, let's just try to go back now, do a little bit of backtracking. The hardest part of this whole section is when, oh no, <laughs> maybe I should've thought about that. Okay, that could've been worse. Could've been a whole lot worse. Boing, boing, okay, wait, wait. Uh, go back. Oh. Wait, <laughs> I don't like it. There we go. But the hardest part is not getting squished by these blocks that bounce up and down. But I should be in the clear now, I think. Whoa, where's my big jump? There it is. I'm at 18 out of 18, so we're good to go. Wow, that was not easy. That took me quite a few tries, but it is what it is. We got through it. And now I can grab this mask. Go through here, break these, don't switch back over or I'll hurt myself. Oh, this is where everything gets a whole lot more complicated, isn't it? Well, hopefully it works out okay because once again, I can only die one more time without losing out on my gem and having to replay through the whole level. I'm glad that we get the flashback tape though. At this point, I have accepted the chance that no matter what I do, oh, there is the, oh, gotcha. Um, I've accepted the chance that no matter how hard I try, I will probably have to play each level multiple times. There we go. Got the hidden gem. So I should just be able to do that without too much of an issue. Break these crates and we're doing good. We're up to how many crates? I guess I'll have to see after I get launched. And go, we. I don't need to press the button to do it. It just sort of does it on its own. Okay, let's get the checkpoint just in case. That wasn't too bad. But I would like to go on this side, break those without getting hit by the nitro and jump on in. And launch! Oh, back on another uh, little piano. There we go. Oh, so these guys actually get faded in and out. Pretty good to keep in mind. So we're actually able to avoid, whoa, quite a lot of obstacles here, it seems. Hmm, how exactly do I do, wanna do this one? I think like that, then I wanna bounce off of that they really don't like it when I step on them. 
There we go. Timed that quite well, actually. And then I should be good to just hop down this way. So definitely, it, it's getting a whole lot more complicated to figure that kind of thing out, but we're doing a good job, I think. If we could get all the crates in one try here, I'd be very pleased. Hmm. Also, all of the ghosts and them all doing goofy things with like musical instruments and stuff, honestly reminds me of Cuphead a lot out of all games. Whoa, no, what happened there? I don't really know. Okay. I was so close to a checkpoint, I ended up losing another life, so I will have to replay the level. But like I said, I, I sort of go into it expecting that at this point. It's just too much to ask at all of the, the boxes and all of that. Oh, we're grinding. Oh, can I still switch? It looks like, no, the power-up's over. I pressed the wrong button. You'd think that pressing down would also make me duck. That's why it's really great that we have that checkpoint, though. Okay, launching again. Honestly, it's been a little bit since our last sliding section, so I don't mind this too much. Pretty cool, let's get back to it. Ready, boom, got it. Duck and cover, jump again. We're good, now we're doing pretty good. Honestly, side-scrolling rail sections are much easier, oh my. Uh, no, okay, I thought I was switching the nitro in and out. Not the case, okay. Still not quite easy, though. I think I got a crate that I missed last time, though. So, oh, but I'm so silly. But we did better. We did much better because I got that one crate. I just have to get it again. Uh, I just, I panicked there for some reason. I don't know what it is. Luckily, the game felt bad for me and gave me Aku Aku. We got ourselves another checkpoint and we're getting launched by another one of these guys. Oh, and it's just another one. Okay, well, I don't have the power point now. They're jamming out behind me. Can't really pay too much attention to them now. Oh, got it. Got to time it just right there. Okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. No, I don't got it. Jumping up and down like that in such a timely manner can be quite tough. Let's try again. Yeah, there's a lot trying to distract you there and just sort of get in the, in the way. Just gotta be on top of it. Immediately plop down and then jump back up. Go back down. That got us, I guess, our third gem for the Wumpa Fruit. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, I think we've gotten farther than we did last time. Just trying to keep that up. We got the Golden Wumpa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what? Did I get it? Did that count? Did I get the gem? I don't know. Whoa. I wasn't ready. Okay, it still counts. Phew. And we did, of course, get the flashback tape found. So I have to replay the level one more time just to get the, um, Lack of lives, I guess, but oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe as long as I get six gems, I can unlock the one skin. So I'm going to go ahead and replay it, just trying not to die again, and hopefully everything will go well. All right, so there we go. I was able to get it done without dying once. Pretty proud about that, but I couldn't get, I missed two crates somewhere. I don't know. I could have gotten the golden relic, but I, I guess I didn't, the perfect golden relic, whatever it is. Uh, but either way, we'll head back to the dimensional map and move on to the second level for today's world. Ooh, and it, oh yeah, we also got the flashback tape, so I guess we'll focus on that first. So we got our brand new costume here, the Party Grass. I love it, he's like a little gesture. I love all the colors for this one, the green hair especially. So there we go, we unlocked that in offbeat. Now we're moving on to our next uh, flashback tape, Team Health Analysis. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Let's get all the crates in this one and hope it turns out okay. So far, we've done a great job with these. We've struggled here and there, but it hasn't been too bad. So I'm hoping that'll continue here. Uh, we can get all the crates without dying too many times. <laughs> all right, I wonder what we get for doing all these, except for, you know, like the, the satisfaction of doing them. Oh my. Oh, there's a crate down there. Okay, I didn't see that one. This one is really tricky. Oh, I love the song. Oh, and Cortex is actually moving in the background now. Okay, I'm glad they bothered to do that for some of them. There we go. So I don't know if this is really the way I'm supposed to do it, but once again, I've talked about this trick in the past. You can spin right before landing and you can actually just land flat like this. And why I wanna do that, oh, because it's not even being squished by them, even touching those crates on their downward, like from the bottom side of them, makes it so that they, uh, Destroy you. Hmm. I don't think I can make a double jump over that either. 
There we go. Yep, that's exactly what I was trying to do. And I'll get up this way. All right, that got rid of some of the nitro. Not really too big of a deal either way. Lots of tricky jumps here. <laughs> Just trying to make the most of everything. Ah, that's sweet that he actually does worry about him. Oh, I didn't see that up there. Good to grab that now then. Drap! I don't know if that's what I wanted to do. Ah, no, that's definitely not. <laughs> Whoops. So I definitely want to hit that one because I just don't know if I'll have the opportunity later. But there we go. Now I can turn around, start breaking some of these. And probably want to go around this way. Luckily, you know, if I miss some of these, the nitro will break them whenever we break the nitro. So I guess it's not too big of an issue with that. Boom. Got rid of all that. And all that. Trying to make the most of this without getting spotted by nitro. Nothing to the left, okay. Oh, there we go. And a checkpoint. Nice to see that at the least. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna die from that one. Because <laughs> there's no uh, really, you know, disbenefit from dying. You don't get anything fancy for doing it all in one life, I don't believe, for this. Ah, oh, the timing for that is weird, but it's certainly possible. Ah, oh, you just sort of get caught on it in a weird way. I know you can do it though. Ah, oh, almost got it that time. <laughs> I like how you can see your timer on the top right though. And also the date on the bottom right is a pretty cool touch. Cause that's been progressing forward, I think. With each level. Ah, oh, man, I almost made it. It's just really tricky. I mean, maybe I'm just going at it the wrong way, but we got it that time. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go, had to sneak in for that one. It's really tough. Definitely one of the more difficult levels that we've experienced with this. Okay, so how exactly do I wanna do this? I think I should be fine breaking this, going in for a second jump, and then getting across. Oh. Oh, why did I keep spinning? That was perfect though. If you just spin across it, you don't end up, ah oh, man. But this part is still really tough to me. But we made it. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Let's go ahead and destroy that. One, two, move down here, do the same thing. So we're almost at halfway for the crates. We need 74 for halfway. Ah, oh, but I, I was trying to get to, ah, it's, just, it's tough. <laughs> There we go, okay, ready? Okay, there it is, there it is, oh my goodness. That got really close. Well, at least Cortex means well, you know? Being an evil scientist and everything. Okay, now figuring this out is certainly a challenge. Oh my goodness, I gotta do it all again. But I only need to break a couple of creatures, I think, that the Nitro wouldn't have reached. There we go. That should now be enough. Oh boy. Because that nitro will definitely. Oh. That nitro will definitely explode the one. And it was enough. 148 out of 148. Thank goodness. That was tough. That was really tough. But there we go. Flashback complete. Glad to see it. We've gotten them all done. Platinum so far. Hopefully we can continue that record as we continue throughout today's world. I'm sure there'll be more flashback tapes. Uh, but let's move on to the second level now. The proper second level of the world. We'll also change Crash's costume a little bit. We're sort of catching up with them all, though. We've checked out a good chunk of them. But let's see what's going on over here. This is home cooking. Oh, there's Dingo Dow right there. I didn't even see him. Has he been there the whole time? And I just didn't notice, but yeah, he's just chilling out. Awesome, do we get to play as him? Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, I love Dingo Dial. Of course, he first showed up in Crash 3. He's a really cool character. There's a lot of spunk to him. I mean, he's a mix between a dingo and a crocodile. He's wonderful. But let's see, do, how is he gonna play? I have no clue. Seems like it's such a weird choice for a character, but that's what makes it so wonderful. Ooh. What are you smelling? Oh, Crocky, I'm starved. Wait, is that? 
Roadkill pie? Slug in centipede gumbo? Breeze back tacos with guanamole? Well, now, what have we got here? Ooh. Either that mild swill Papa Batfield cooks up in his filthy outhouse. Come on down to Dingo's Diner. <laughs> the Dingo's Diner may not meet the legal definition of food. Consumer your own. Oh no! The effects of dining at Dingo's Diner may include fatigue, increased body odor, risk-seeking behavior, thinking too much about your uncle, increased hunger, hunger, alienation from friends and family, skin irritation, ennui, leaky orifices, oozing orifices, flowing orifices. Oh, you fucking like stay out of my diner! Remember that girl from uh -oh. What's she up to? Do you think she's happy? And profuse. Whoa! What is that? That's new. Usually, as a flamethrower. Does he have an air blower now? Whoa, yeah, look at this. It's like Luigi's Mansion. What's going on with that? Does he have a Wumpa Cannon? Is that how this works? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Hold X to hover. Oh my gosh, it really is like Luigi's Mansion. Cool. How many uh, R2 to vacuum, yep. 398 crates. Wow, this is so cool. Look at all these crates over here too. We don't want to miss these. Was there any more like that over here that I missed in the foreground? No. Any off to the left? Okay, <laughs> just making extra sure. But yeah, Dingo has his own diner now. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Let's uh, get him this way. There we go, that's mine. What about jumping on this guy? I guess you could just spin on him too. This is so different, I love it. The yeah, Dingadile is such a great character. I wonder if Tiny's gonna be in the game. I, Tiny's probably my favorite boss out of all of them, so it'd be really cool to see him. So I guess right at the very end of the hover, you get a little speed boost. And you can also just do a little bit of that if you want. Oh, see you Nitro Crates. So we're already stacking up a ton of them. I get it now. There we go. Excellent. Oh no, no, oh, well that was silly of me. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. That's okay. Oh, we're way at the beginning now. There we go. Let's not be silly with it this time, but we can keep moving forward for right now. Whoa. Oh no! They'll get every last one of yous. All right, well. Oh gosh, how do we, what? Do I jump on him? What's going on there? Do I have to do the whole thing again? I think I might. Oh no, no, I got a checkpoint. Can I jump off of him? Oh yes, I can. Well, there we go. I don't get Aku Aku. I like how he's here to help already. Ooh, that was pretty cool. And I can break that as well. But poor Dingo Dial, his 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 diner's all gone. Oh, here we go, catch. So we do not, we not use these. We don't jump on these. We we just launch them. Okay. Let's boom. Hit that. Oh, that could have been bad. Luckily, I kept my Aku Aku. Let's hover across. Keep launching some more. I missed in that time. It does have like some amount of auto aiming to it, but not too much. Yeah, our whole diner's destroyed. What a shame. There's a bunch more crates and our checkpoint. Ah, he put so much work into it too. What's over here? This seems like it might be an extra area then. Huh? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, just a couple, oh wait, not just a couple of extra crates, there's even more. We got our hidden gem. There we go, that's nice to see. We do have to be careful though, if we lose one or more than one more life, we won't be able to get the other gem. So I'm definitely trying my best here to keep it safe. Oh my, watch it. That wasn't too bad. Anything up here though? Not looking like it. Okay, let's keep moving it forward then. Whoa. Yeah, this is awesome. This is a lot of fun. So now we have three different playable characters in this game so far. Uh, Crash, Tana, and Dingo Dial, and Coco, but like, you know, Crash and Coco play the same way. Can I just, there we go, catch, or not. There we go, we got them one way or another. Yeah, Crash, Coco, Tana, and Dingo Dial. That's a pretty cool combo if you ask me, and each, per each person's gameplay is like a little bit different which is really enjoyable as well. I mean, actually, I would say quite a lot different. I don't know why I'm saying a little bit different. Just each one is really fun, though. Ton is like, grapple hook. Oh, I could've, oh no. Oh no, I could've. That was a mistake. 
there's a, there's a box up here now. I wonder if I can. Oh, that almost worked too. Now I can't die any more time. So I gotta really pay attention to my surroundings with that. See, I'll launch that one TNT, and then we'll just do that. There we go. Whew, that was a little bit tough. We'll get our Aku Aku back. Good to see it. And I guess we're good to move forward. Oh my, oh my, hide. Uh, Spin at him, there we go. Well, oh, I wonder if there's anything in these crates. They were able to break them, but I don't think so. But that'd be a little weird. There's a couple more. Ender checkpoints, if we die, we should be fine. Now I'm guessing we don't wanna suck those up. Sucking up the nitro sounds like a bad idea to me. So I'm going to leave that be, but is there anything behind? No, there's not. No. Oh. And Dingo Dial is quite nimble for being so big. Oh, what's over here? That looks breakable. And indeed it is. Even more stuff to get. Got it. Okay, what? Wh which way exactly am I supposed to go here? Seems good to me. But it's crazy so far. Really fun level though. We got ourselves our second gem. Definitely not anything to the right. So it'll always give us our second boost as soon as we let go. Whoa, why didn't that work? Weird. Try it again. Whoa. Will that still count as my crate being broken? Yes. <laughs> well then that's all I need, isn't it? Trying really hard not to die so I don't have to redo the level, but we'll see how that goes. Nice. <laughs> that's what I just said. <laughs> We're such on the same page. I love it. Oh, there's a lot of nitro down there, though. So let's spin that. Oh. I also have to be careful of this guy firing at me. We got him, though. Hmm. Whoa, whoa! Oh, and look at that. There, there's a little exclamation mark. I was like, where could that be? Right there. I haven't seen any other um, wireframe, like, crate boxes anywhere else, so I, I think that we don't have to backtrack. I hope. See ya, that was good. Can I also get that, or, oh no, he tried to drop it on me. I don't know if I can take those guys out, it doesn't seem like it. Whoa, darn, so I will have to play through the level again. That stinks, but it is what it is. I honestly don't mind too much for this level, I'm having a blast. There we go, all right, so let's keep going. Got past that part finally, I've died a couple of times. Not the most fun situation, but it is what it is. Anything I'm missing around here in terms of hitting stuff, it doesn't look like about, oh, over there. In the distance, we hit a couple more crates. We're almost at the 300 mark, so that's good. I mean, we need to get almost to 400. This level's crazy with the crates, but I'm enjoying it, very fun. I'll take that, thank you very much, and then you can have it back. There we go. So what exactly are we doing with this one? There are some crocodiles down there. And that's so weird. So I guess like Dingo Dial sort of related to them. Of course, just like Crash and Coco and Tiny. Um, Dingo Dial is one of the experiments from Cortex. Let's just go ahead and spin UI. And you should just drop that TNT, yeah. Hmm. Don't exactly know what's going on. Let's, yeah, get rid of you. That's gonna get that crate for me, awesome. And I think I'm supposed to be going to the left. I don't think there's anything over there. Uh, I sure hope not. We're gonna leave a thing. Boom. Nice. Ooh. Oh my, here comes another one. But as long as we can get them to drop it, we're fine. <laughs> well, he dropped it. I can see it down there. And it exploded still. So that's, once again, all that matters. Ooh. This is picking up the pace even more. Okay, I destroyed that, but I don't know what it's quite supposed to lead to, if anything. Can I get that TNT, please? There we go. And then just try to launch it right back at you or something. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of destroying that one specifically was. Maybe there isn't one. Okay, once again, I don't think it's worth it. We go down that way. 
There's so much going on here, though. Hmm, launched. Gotcha. I like them a lot. <laughs> Definitely destroy all this stuff. And if you'd stand right under them, they they uh they drop their TNT, which is what I'm looking for. Come on, come on. Ooh. And we're still missing a couple. Darn, where could they have been? I wonder. I missed six crates. Anything else around I might have passed up on? Not from what I see. So we're just gonna end the level right here, I think. And I will try again, because I need to for the lives anyways. That's sort of a shame, but it is what it is. All right, level complete. Oh, little rubber ducky, he ate it. <laughs> Why'd he do that? All right, well, let's replay. All right, so it looks like I got my gem here. I think I only died three times. Uh, let's find out. Looks like it, okay, we're good. So we got the party graph uh, skin for Coco now. Very cool. All right, so that took a lot of work, but I'm glad that we got it done. Um, ooh, what's going on now? Whole place is burning up. Oh, oh no. Oh, poor Dingo Dial. I wonder what dimension he's going to next, but I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Um, I don't think there was a mixtape for this one, or a flashback tape. So I guess that means we're good to move on to what I think is the third and final level. Maybe this world really isn't that long. <laughs> All right, let's take a look for ourselves. Whoa, but look at this. We can go back and play a Dingo Dial level. Dingo Dial, timeline's unlocked. Help Dingo Dial find a way home. He may even run into Crash and Coco along the way. Excellent. Pretty cool. But yeah, let's check out what this is. It is Run It By You. You know what? Yeah, sure, let's go to it. Um, yeah. Looks like we're good to go. We unlock a costume for this one. We do have the flashback tape to unlock for this, so let's hope it goes well. Whoa, look at this, this looks super cool. So it's another city-like level. I forgot to change Crash's costume. Hopefully it's not too big of a deal. Um, anything back here before we get started? Not quite, we have 272 crates to get for this one. Oh no, hold on. There it is. Whoa, red? Countdown outlines only for a limited time. Oh, can I try again? I can try again now. Okay, that's good. That's sort of the scary part, is if I couldn't try again. Whoa, is that the gem up there? Way out there in the distance. Oh yeah, because we have the, no, no, wait, wait, I'm not done. I'm not done, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Really? Really, you're gonna force me to do it? Okay, let's restart the level real quick. But I wanted to jump over there. So it's just like a level in Crash 2 where you have to do some platforming before you even jump onto the surfboard, jetboard, whatever it is. Oh, there was a sneaky crate back there. Didn't even realize that one. So it's a good thing we uh, we retried, I guess. But I did change my costume because I kept on dying. I, I might as well go back. But it looks like it wants me to boost around. Not for right now. But, oh, you know what? I do need to be careful because I will need to head back this way, won't I? So we'll get a couple of those on the way back. But you can see that there's clearly a way to get over here. And I think it gets us our yellow gem, which is exciting. Honestly, one of the more obvious gems in the game so far. Color gem found. If we pause the game, level stats. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll check that later, actually. But right now, I guess we're good to head back. Don't see any other things we're supposed to platform over to. So here's the scary part, is making our way back. Whoa, I hit the wall. Okay, wait, wait, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Whoa, okay. That was all kinds of scary, but we made it work. And now, we can launch over this. There we go. Oh, this is cool, but scary at the same time. There's more of those red exclamation mark boxes now. I love that, but I also am not super wild about it. Depends, okay. Ooh. No, 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 no. The thing is, is if I run out of time here, I'm gonna have to go back. No, I'm gonna have to go back. Darn, because there's none other like that around here. Oh, and going back is not gonna be an easy task. This level's gonna be tough, isn't it? There were more crates back here. Okay, well at least I was able to check that out. What a tricky thing to do. There we go, okay. Why would they do that to me? <laughs> oh man. There we go, okay, that took a lot of work to get done. I had to go all the way back and get back over. Now I could break those boxes, but I'm not gonna do that, 
because I did notice. Oh, and I'm definitely gonna have to do this level again when it comes to like getting it done without losing an excessive amount of lives because I'm jumping blind here, but I wanna get up this way. And then we can jump on this platform because I noticed when I was running around, we have that right there. Now, is there any more? I don't think so. And I'm going to really hope there isn't. This level is certainly a challenge and now I can understand why there's 272 crates in it to, to, to smash. And I just really hope we can get all that done without having to give multiple tries. Cause I can imagine this level taking us a very, very long time. And now that I'm thinking about it, there's a flashback tape in this one. So that's something I'll have to get to as well. But seeing how I already basically, I'm going to have to replay this whole thing for the lives, I'm guessing. I'm guessing we're gonna lose more than two lives. You know, sorry for not being very optimistic with that, but I can tell this level's really tough. So I'm not worrying about it too much. Okay, very, very cool level so far and I'm really happy we got the yellow gem. Oh my, let's go quick with this. No, you're kidding. Uh, Those come back, right? Yes, they do. Not easy in the slightest. We're gonna wait for all those barrels to pop up again. But don't slide jump this time, because that definitely eats into my time. You gotta be just about perfect for that one. But hey, we do get a bonus level, which I'm pretty sure the bonus areas do count as checkpoints, basically, so that's nice. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. Because now, yeah, you know what? Let's just try all that again. I'm going to try to avoid that so that we can bounce up there properly next time. Because that's an issue. <laughs> I do really like this crash skin, though. Very cool looking, if you ask me. Oh no, no! Ah. Okay, gonna have to die again. <laughs> There's a lot of little places you can mess up with this bonus level. Don't know how I feel about that one. But we're gonna try again. So avoid that, avoid that. Oh. Oh my gosh, that goes away in an instant. I mean, I guess I can break this now. Wow, that's not any time at all. How in the world do I manage that? <laughs> not like that, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. How in the world do you do it? I don't know. Oh, you know what? That's the time I'm buying here. Ah, no! Okay, well, at least I know what I'm doing now. That's really tough, but we can get there. There it is. Oh my goodness, the timing for that is still, even with that extra time, it's really tight. There we go. Boom, 22. Okay, once you figure that one part out, though, the rest of it sort of falls together quite nicely, so there we go. 88 out of 272. I hope we're well on our way here, but I guess we'll find out. I don't trust these guys. I don't want them dropping nitro on me. Still trying to keep my eye out in in the foreground, background, ever ground there is. Oh no. Oh no. Wow, that's sort of ridiculous, don't you think? <laughs> okay, it's hard to time all that together, but I will try. Luckily, we you know we do get the bone stage checkpoint in that way. Hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> there goes my three lives. Okay, figured it out this time. Destroy those before they incinerate me. And what do we got here? Obviously this, but always gotta make extra sure if that's everything looks like it. And we do get a checkpoint. I might as well destroy these crates first. Is there anything else I'm supposed to grab before we hop on this little jet board? Not looking like it. So we're just gonna go. Of course, we can boost. What, what's interesting about it is they never really explain it, but the boost does work differently than it did in Crash 2, where you press it and you get like a big burst. Here, it's just a constant speed acceleration. Oh, okay, well there goes our Aku Aku, and I still didn't get it, what? What are you talking about? Okay, as soon as these pop up and move, see, that is total baloney. Come on, try again. There we go. It's very demanding about that. Exactly the angle you have to hit it from. Okay, come on, come on. 
Oh, oh, I didn't see this back there. Always good to grab those. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Yeah, all right, now this is where it gets scary. We've run into these before and they just disappear way too soon. That was, come on, come on, what are you talking about? Try it again. Oh, I'm definitely gonna run out of time with that. Ugh. I'm just gonna wait. Uh, come on. There it is. Now I'm just gonna make a beeline right for it. That's so weird. Why do you go over it? Because I'm speed boosting, is that it? Oh, this game is so tough. So yeah, you have to backtrack for that one because I wasn't boosting there. And it doesn't look like left or right. Either one has a box here, so I'm just gonna do that. And then we're launching for these. Now, all of these do have crates. So I'm trying to make the most of this. Did I get it? No, I did not get it. Oh boy. Gotta time this right so I don't land on a mine. Thank you. Ooh. Awesome. So I think that's everything I also, whoa. Gotta be careful of the extra speed you build when you're going downstream. But there we go. That was pretty good, right? Whoa. Oh, is it Dingo Dial? Well, that's like a little traveling truck with Dingo Dial on it, but no Dingo Dial. I'm a little confused. It's like a food truck, but it's a boat. Wonder what, if what they make is tasty or not. Either way. Oh, I see, we gotta get rid of the obstacles for him. This is interesting, I like it. I should be able to get these crates without too much of an issue, I would hope. Oh boy. I don't know if this is the best idea, but I might cut ahead a little bit so I have extra time to actually yeah, break these. Now these ones I do need help with. What was that for? Wait, what? what there was nothing up there. I'm so confused. So I checked up there and there was a whole bunch of nothing. So I'm just gonna keep going. I got Aku Aku now and I hope I don't miss any crates from out there. Ooh, duck under that. Oh no, my phone alarm is going off. There we go, there we go. Ah, no wait, come on. Ugh. Done in by my phone alarm. <laughs> That's not good. There we go. All right. Haven't seen what's passed here, so just trying to keep up. Don't do anything silly like that. Oh, do I have to duck under these? I guess I do. Woo! I got more airtime off of that than I was expecting. These levels just get so much tougher with each one. It's crazy. I can't, I, I, I can and I can't at the same time. Can't wait to see what's gonna be happening later down the line with these levels and the, um, the new versions that we unlocked in the last episode. Like, what are they gonna be like? How much more difficult will they be? It's gonna be crazy. Oh, there's the tape. Okay, so I can't get it now. Oh no, sorry. But I know where it is. I know what I have to last up to later on. That's good to know. So it's super important to me to make sure that we get all the crates now so I don't have to worry about that again later on. I don't know what our chances are, but so far, not too bad. I'm 216 on a 272. I don't know how much longer this level has left for us, but got another. This time we're going with the current instead of against it. That makes it pretty exciting, but we're really building up speed and this is exactly, exactly what I was concerned about. <laughs> is that we'd have sections like that. Um, where we just go right past what we need to. Oh no, that is so tight. How quickly you're gonna have to make that happen. Oh my goodness. I feel like speed boosting might be useful just for like propelling yourself in the direction you'd really need to go. Watch it. I'm just trying to keep my eye out for absolutely any crates available. Gotcha. Oh, definitely get that. No way, no way. Okay, no, this, this current's not as strong because it's also not downhill. There we go. Excellent. And we got our third, hey, it's fake crash. What are you doing here, buddy? I can run over you. I don't think I was supposed to be able to land on top of that. <laughs> Hi there. I wasn't expecting fake crashes to show up, but maybe I should have. That's awesome. It'd be cool if we can unlock a fake crash like costume. A fake, fake crash. No. Mm -mm. Mm. So 247, I don't know if that's gonna be enough. 
Oh, it is awesome. Thank you very much. Wow, that was tough, but so cool. All right, well, as you can see, I didn't get the hidden gem. I wonder where that is, but we did get the color gem and we just need to replay it again also for the live situation. I can see through time, trophy earned. Interesting. So let's go ahead and give it another go. Oh, oh, you could you could see just for a moment there over. Oh, and look what I just saw over here. You could just barely see it from right there. You can see it right behind the barrel. Oh, is that limited time? I don't think it was. Oh my goodness. There we go. So there's the hidden gem, which is great. The bad thing is I've died more than three times getting here, so I will have to play the level again after this. So I'll be back after all that. There it is, got my flashback tape. Oh, that took a lot of effort. Haven't died yet, I just need to not die three more times, Any, or at least I don't need to die four times. You know what I mean, <laughs> to get that last gem, so I'm gonna go for that now. Oh, I died a couple of times there and it got me a little scared, but I got it. Okay, so this level should be fully completed now. Level complete, we got the secret gem, we got the less than three deaths maximum, flashback tape found, let's get out of here. <laughs> This will also unlock the next world force, which is really exciting. Whoa, what's going on? What, what time is it? Oh, goodness, I ought to know. Crush, Coco, come on, give old Kapuna a kiss, eh? <laughs> ah, do we know you? Don't look at me like I broke wind at a wedding. <laughs> time, I see everything. And I mean everything. There's some very unexpected developments in your future. Your very near future. Shocking events that will change the course of your life. Yeah, just gonna stop you there before you tell us how we all die. Well, if you'd rather not know about the giant mask-eating monster from beyond the stars, Maybe that now. is your choice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there was cut. Kanuma was, I think it was. Sorry if I got it wrong. You know, it was only for a second she mentioned her name, but there we go, there's a new mask. Something to do with time, and apparently she knows everything. So that's a little intimidating, but I'm sure we will be able to get to know her in the next episode. Oh, where are we going next? Oh, somewhere icy. I like what I see. <laughs> Get it? All right, well, there is also another Dingo Dialogue. We'll be tackling all that in just a moment, but I do want to see what we're seeing going against next episode. The 11th Dimension, 1954. Interesting. So we're going to head all the way back. Before we even do that Dingo Dialogue level, remember in the previous world, we also unlocked another one. So we're going to go back and do that one, then we'll do the flashback tape, and then we'll do more Dingo Dialogue level stuff. We still have a lot to go in today's episode, but let's start with this one. This is Thar She Blows with Dingo Dial. Let's give it a shot. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, got a feeling I'm not in the bar, you know, Ma. <laughs> you are not. See, we'll see how this goes. Dingo Dial in a new environment. He's jumping through dimensions just like Crash and Coco are, and uh, Tana. Oh boy, can I just jump on you then? I can, that's good to know. Oh, I can't land, that's a little deceiving. I don't know how I feel about that one. Let's hope we don't die like that any more often uh, because it's just unnecessary. There we go. Launch that guy, why do the same for that? We got 283 crates, so actually not as many as last time, so that's at least good to see. But I'm sure there'll still be a lot to do, so we have to be aware and on top of it as much as possible. I do see this TNT crate. We can pick that up, I guess, and launch it somewhere for fun. Was there supposed to be a purpose to that one? A little weird. Oh, there's the hidden gem already. Okay, well, that was easy. Really, really easy hidden gem. Maybe the easiest yet. Weird stuff. Oh, okay, no. For a second, I thought we had to bring that TNT all the way over, but we're fine. Just gonna land on you, pick that up, and launch it. Looking good, got our checkpoint. Oh, gotcha. So we're just trying to get as many crates as we can, hope that everything else turns out okay. Last time it did take us a couple attempts with Dingo Dial to get everything, but I'm hoping maybe this time will be first time through. You smell good enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure Dingo Dial can say that about anybody at this point. He seems to eat a lot. Okay, running back over, pick that up and give it a launch. Nice, whoa. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Run through, run through! Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, and this is where it's going to, oh, that makes so much sense, it's so cool. I love this so much. So there we go, the rest of this level is going to be with Crash as it normally is, but it will be slightly more difficult than what it was in the past, so. That'll be fun, right? <laughs> and we still have a good 140-ish crates to get here. So we'll do everything we can to get that done. Um, but yeah, I love how that works still, and the way that you have to sort of go through it again. And you get to see like with these random things that happen, they actually have a reason, and I gotta keep an eye out for that. Whenever just something seems random, remember that it's not, and that there's a reason for it, and that way we can look forward to a level in that area later on, you know? They really had a lot of fun ideas with this game, and I really appreciate that. Okay, activate the TNT. This is, of course, the scary part, because I will have to backtrack a little bit, and I'm thinking, uh, if you back off, buddy. Hold on, boom, get that. Get the checkpoint. And let's start backtracking a little bit. There we go, got him. Oh, get these, <laughs> very quick. No, I tried to slide jump and I belly flopped. Those are two very different things. Whoa, you're still here. I'm gonna get rid of those two. Oh my, oh darn. Now I can't lose any more lives. I really don't like backtracking in this area, but you sort of have to. You don't get too much of a choice with us. Okay, ready? And hope that, uh. That's working out. I don't think, oh no, there is more. There definitely isn't more after that though. So we're good to move forward. Try to take that guy out. So we just have to move forward from here and, I mean, not die in general, of course. But to get all the crates, we, <laughs> we need to make sure we don't die again with this. Okay, so honestly, I don't care too much about these crates because I know that they'll go kablooey with the nitro whenever we do explore the nitro. So I'll take my Aku Aku and leave, even though I probably should have saved the Aku Aku for after this, because now if I get hit, I'll lose it before it really is all that useful. Um, that was weird, and there it goes. Um, I don't know why that didn't break the first time I swung at it, but this wasn't what I was supposed to do. I can tell you that much. So what are you supposed to do there? That's a little bit of a weird one. Let's try again. Hmm. I think, oh, there's a block up there too. I might avoid breaking as many crates as possible. Oh no. That is so tough, because I'm supposed to break those two for sure. Ooh, I don't quite know how we're gonna get that done. Oh, there we go, I finally got that. I don't know exactly what we're doing out this way. But I do know that we can activate that. And now we can start backtracking a bit. There we go, boom, able to slam on that. We have four more crates left to break. I don't know if we'll be able to make it back over though. That might complicate things a bit. Okay, there we go, there we go. So yeah, now it's just the challenge of returning from whence we came. <laughs> and that's the hard part, I guess. Oh, I did it, I did it. Okay, that was very lucky, and we made it out of there. Man, what a tough little bonus section there. The stakes are raised with every level. <laughs> what can I say? We got 200 out of the 283 crates. I hope we can continue with that. I haven't lost that that you know third life yet. Ah, and there it goes. <laughs> That was a little deceiving, I don't know why. It looked like I had that matched up, but I guess I didn't. It is what it is. What was that? <laughs> Crash, come on now, buddy. So I will have to replay through this level in its entirety to get the, the live thing figured out. So let's hope that I don't have to figure out anything else on top of that. If we can get all the crates, it'd be fantastic. So down here is where there was a bonus gem. Now it's just where I go to be embarrassed. Um, One more time, here we go. I'm getting Aku Aku as like a, a, a pity gift now from the game. There we go. So it just doesn't do anything now. Interesting. Now we definitely wanna hit that. What happened there? Once again, the game is being super weird. Hit that, get some crates out of it. 
Gotcha. Ooh. I don't trust this very much, but doing what I can. Definitely going to explode all of that, and then just try to get away from that while it explodes, thank you. Oh no. Oh, well there goes our Aku Aku. Timing with this is certainly bizarre. No, come on, you're kidding me. Okay, let's check out what's going on over here, and then I have to backtrack a bit. You can get rid of that one. They're all gonna flame, and I can get rid of that. Oh boy. There we go. So far, so good. That almost got me. But we're making progress here. Hit that one, get the checkpoint. Thank you very much. We still need 50 or 48 more crates here, something like that. I don't know, maybe just 40. Okay. Yeah, now just 40. Oh no. Yeah, that was me being silly. The crazy thing is, is that with each episode, each episode, I don't know how long they're, they are, probably like about an hour to an hour and a half, but they take me about two to three hours to sort of record in total. So by the end of it, I sort of, I lose my bearings a bit, to say the least. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just glad I didn't die there. Is there anything up there? No, but the camera gets a little confused. All right. Oh, ah, okay. Grab all of that, explode all that, and let's see, is that enough? It's not. I missed not just a few, I missed six crates somewhere. I have no idea where either, so that's gonna be fun. At the least, I got the three Wumpa gems, I got the hidden gem. That's always good to get, but oh, there's so much more. Okay, so there were two crates I missed here, or maybe just one, maybe just one. I don't know, but that's some crates I definitely missed last round, so hopefully I find the rest of them too. There we go. That took a lot of effort. But there we go, we get the full set of crates broken, and I think that I did that within the appropriate amount of lives. I sure hope so. Looks like it. All right, so we get the Booty Seeker costume for Coco for that one, pretty cool. We're gonna move forward for right now. Um, we still have much more to do. I need to go and get done the flashback tape level for the level we played before this. Then we have the other Dingo Dial level. It just keeps going and going, doesn't it? Okay, so now that we're back in Mosquito Marsh, let's first hop into um, this flashback tape. And this one is subject number 272, final B. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Uh, we're gonna find out. The underscores are sort of weird in that font up there. That's, that's odd. But yeah, let's see what this one's about. I always just love hearing more of the background and just, what's going on before the first crash game, you know? Oh boy. This one is on July 19th, 1996, or yeah, 1996. Okay, we have more issues with bouncing crates. Getting a little old with all of the bouncing crates, but I'll do what I can about it. Three, four, and five. I do love the old Cortex Castle aesthetic though. I wish it was something that was a little bit more common because I really liked it in the first Crash game, but you never really saw it outside of that and out of like Crash Team Racing's one course on it. I cut Cortex off. So w was it, it's Crash's birthday? July 19th? Or was he saying it was Embryo's birthday? Because wasn't he talking about that before? Hmm, I'm not sure. Hopefully I can hear it again, but it might be a little bit too late. Either way, ooh, got through that. I don't even really need the Wumpa Fruit, so let's speed up through all that. I don't know if you, oh no. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. There we go, wait. Oh, 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 I don't even need it, don't even need it. See ya, that was great. Wow, okay, okay, we're fine. But yeah, she, he, he's not saying it again, which is sort of a shame. Oh, I messed it up. That is really, really tough. Okay, trying to be really careful. Yeah, I don't wanna jump there at all. 
Oh boy. Now I don't actually have to worry about breaking these. Uh, whenever we break the nitro, that'll do it for me. So it is Crash's birthday. Oh, poor Embryo. I feel bad for him, he suffers so much. But, I guess, yeah, we, that's, is that always been confirmed? Oh my gosh, I didn't know where to stand there. Um, but has that always been confirmed? July 19th, Crash's birthday. I can only imagine the year before then, right? I don't know. Hmm. There we go. No, oh my goodness, you can't do that. No taken. <laughs> oh. Just gets tougher and tougher though. Which I had expected these levels to be really tough to begin with, because they just seemed like something that would be. There we go. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. I see what I gotta do. I didn't hit the TNT up there though. If you say so. Alright, let's try again. I don't even care about those crates too much. They'll sort of deal with themselves. Oh, really? <laughs> Maybe I'm just going at it the wrong way. Maybe this is better. And then I can just get up here. Just try to get away from it as much as possible. Whew. There's something. Oh no, there's so much going on here already and I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Got it. And that should be enough. Yep, it broke, every broke everything. I'm just gonna break this one five times. I really, really don't care if we uh, miss out on like potential Wumpa Fruit. It just doesn't matter when we don't have lives enabled. And what's going on down here? Well, it looks like, once again, all I really have to do is hit the TNT crate, hit this TNT crate, jump super high up, and hope that this is enough. 127 out of 127, thank you! <laughs> oh, it passed a crate there for a second. I feel like it's the end of the level. Uh, flashback complete. Awesome. All right, let's continue. Yeah, now we know Crash's birthday. That's cool. Because I'm pretty sure, maybe that's when the original game came out? I'm not sure. I'll look it up right now while we're loading in anyways. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, that was September 9th. It's real weird. Um, by the way, yeah, we have one more level up to tackle and it's going to be the Run It By You version for Dingo Dial. No Dillo Dallying. <laughs> let's give it a try. There he is, hop on in. That's more like it. Now, which way's me diner? So he knows he's, oh wow, I was gonna say, can we even get these crates? Yes, we can, that's very sneaky. When they're, when they're mixed in with all the crates you can't get, I don't know how I feel about that. But either way, let's definitely be a bit investigative here. I love this little food truck boat. You know, we had it in the previous version of this level. You're kidding me. That was just me being clumsy. All right, gotta do it all again. All right, launch it over there. Same thing with that one. But yeah, we just have to get through this and hope it turns out okay. Now we already know that, oh, you know what? This is, we'll probably figure it out, but this is probably why the food truck or the food boat went through the dimension portal. It's something that Dingo Dial did. That's my guess. That was sort of the most odd thing that happened in that level. Oh, give me those Wumpa Fruit. I guess we can suck up the little bats. Oh no. Um, the bow might get a little ahead of me here. I think that's okay. Because remember, we still have this move. It'll certainly help. Okay, they don't want to give up the Wumpa Fruit. I don't know if I care that much. Why can't I get this one? What was that? You're kidding. <laughs> Poor Dingo Dial. Oh my goodness. There we go. Don't know why I wasn't sucking this up before. It looks like the boat is waiting for me, luckily, because that would've been really tough to keep up with, to be honest. There we go. And then I will launch that way over that way. And that was enough. That's gonna move forward now. Come on, come on. Thank you. For a second, I thought this wasn't gonna work. Oh, hey, hey, hold on. Catch. <laughs> that was good. Definitely get rid of that guy, too, if we can. Oh, boy. Gotcha. Oh, that got me though. We're already down to zero lives we can lose before I'll have to replay this level, which once again, I'm just accepting that that's probably what's gonna happen here. Gotcha. Whoa. Come on, come on. Oh. Yeah, there we go. And we need 500 crates in this level. That's a lot. Wow, wait. I mean, a lot of them seem to be nitro, but. 
Okay, onto the conveyor belt. Break those with a little tail spin. Got it. Same thing here. Oh, this is so tough. Even though the boat's way ahead of us, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm not gonna worry about it. Whoa, that one right over for some reason. Why is this so picky? Why, come on. No, come on. <laughs> this isn't fair. Got it, and launch it. Wow, it just doesn't work. But I need it to work if I want those crates. Why does it keep launching over there like that? Maybe if I do that. I mean, there's like some kind of wind. Nope, there we go, that did explode it though. Now the thing is, yeah, how exactly am I gonna break these? I don't know, maybe I don't. Maybe I just have to, Ooh, okay, I don't like that. I don't know how that exploded it, by the way, but it did. The boat's gonna continue under. And we're almost halfway with the crates. Almost halfway. Ooh. Stagnant water smells like home. I'm pretty sure this, oh no, maybe not, maybe not. I was gonna say this might be where it turns into the crash section. Not quite yet. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Okay, I'm launching it over here. All right, gotta keep going. Haven't seen any extra crates. I am looking out, of course, for the secret gem as well. But we don't have to worry about the nitro crates too much in terms of actually breaking them. We'll have that chance later. Oh, why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> oh, well. Boom, got it. Let's keep it moving now. That's not what I wanted. Ooh. Okay, that didn't explode me. Happy to see that. Still looking everywhere for a potential gem. Definitely spin that guy away. All right, let's keep it moving. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, and that's it. So let's hope it's actually in the other section of the level. Oh, oh no. So it looks like we'll be seeing Dingo Dial somewhere else, but for right now we got lots more to do as Crash. So I was a little confused about that before. Now I understand. Anytime I get confused about something in, in a level in this game, I know what to do now. I just need to assume it's either Tana or Dingo Dial or something. Okay, well we still have a lot left to do here. Don't know if I'm in, oh, whoa, whoa. hold on. Yes, I got it. Oh, that could have been bad, but I was able to make that work. Imagine if I missed a one crate. I would not have been happy about that. All right. No, why did I do that? Why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure there was not anything else up there just like last time. It's just like a weirdly useless um, box, a, a jumping box, but it's fine. I'm just gonna keep making progress with this. The game felt bad and gave me an Aku Aku, but Aku Akus don't help you if you fall to your doom, so. Gotta keep that in mind. Please let me get that. Please let me. A little too late. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh. Ah, sorry, Aku Aku. Gonna have to leave you in the dust for that one, but I guess we had two of them, so that works out for me. Um, anything over there? I mean, this is gonna keep going. Goodbye. Hope you sell plenty of food. All right, so what's going on with all of this? I'm still a bit worried about everything. I'm pretty sure we missed the secret gem somewhere. But we still have a little bit less than 100 crates to get, so gotta keep my focus on that for now. Oh my, and I already missed one. Boom, gotta, gotta try it again. And oh no, I had Aku Aku, but I have to try it again. I died a lot of times at this point, what's a few more, right? So not really worried about that, but very easy to miss stuff on this downhill, down river section. So far, so good, so far, so good. Let's keep it that way. We really had to bend around that one. There's an Aku Aku. Ooh, got it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. You can't take the jumps on that one. You'll hit the uh, Nitro. There's Fake Crash still dancing. He never runs out of energy to dance. I love that I can just jump on here. I know I'm not probably supposed to. That was probably just a mistake, but. 
It's as cool that I can. Oh my, oh my. Ready for this? Got him, got him, and got him. So here's the moment of truth. Did we get every crate? Yes, we did, so that's a relief. I do have to play again, find the hidden gem. Looks like it's just as well hidden as the first time we normally went through this level. And I also do it all without dying more than three times. That's gonna be an interesting challenge. So let's try it again. Oh, you see that right there? All right, let's see if I can't land there. And there's the gem way up there. So there's the hidden gem. V very uh, hidden. <laughs> that was scary. Um, now I just gotta get to the end of the level without dying three times. Let's hope for it. And there it is. Oh my goodness. That was so much work. <laughs> But we got it done. Um, no, not too many lives lost, at the least, so that's all we need. All right, let's keep moving. And I think that means that we're sort of wrapped up for today's episode. That was the last level I wanted to get done, so <laughs> we're gonna be checking out uh, just all the costumes we got in today's episode. Um, and then I think we'll be wrapped up, we'll be taking on the next area, I forget what it's called, it's the icy area, the 11th dimension, that's what it was. But yeah, lots of fun, tons of levels completed. Is there a percentage marker anywhere? Yeah, and it's 20%. Oh my goodness, that's it? We've been playing the game for hour after hour and that's as far as we are in. It shows you how much more work is still yet ahead of us. It's a lot of fun though, I'm really enjoying the game. So with that being said, uh, we do have one more gem to get and I'm pretty sure I missed it somewhere so I'll be looking into where I can, can't, can't get that. Um, and taking a look at the different costumes that we've unlocked, um, we got Couple new ones, we got Booty Seeker for Coco, Party Gras, and Cat's Meow, we'll be checking some of these out next episode. Um, and we got Cat's Meow for Crash, we already saw Party Gras, uh, that's gonna be the next episode, I guess. But the classic Crash, I need to check that out soon. I, I didn't this time, I'm so sorry. But yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye bye.